Ajax just got Juventus. Mm. That's exactly what happened here. I mean, they, they had the possession. They had the chances. They had the opportunities. They had the game. It was all about Ajax. And then all of a sudden, they find themselves down one nothing. It's a good reaction by Ajax to come back and make it 1-1. They got lucky in the end when you think about the fact that Douglas Costa hits the post and that might have been 2-1 and it's series over. Uh, it was a risk still in my mind to play Cristiano Ronaldo, and I guess he must have been 100% fit if, the, if you're willing to take that chance. But I guess it's a risk worth taking when he comes in and, and scores the goal that he did. I would not have done it. Allegri knows better. He puts him out there, scores a goal. But this is all about Ajax and I think a wasted opportunity to truly make a case for themselves in the second leg. I mean, yesterday on this show, we sat and we said, terrible decision from Allegri. Doesn't what happened today prove he was right? Without him, they lose. Mm. Well, not necessarily. Mm. I mean, he, you know, somebody else He's might have popped up in that position with a but goal. But they didn't. Well, no. Look, Ali's right. It, 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 People will come on and say, well, you know, Tom, you, you guys said Ronaldo shouldn't play. It's a, it's a risk, risk and reward. Mm -hmm. You know, with muscular injuries, you, you, uh, you're just taking a big chance and, and bringing somebody back. They've took that chance. It looks like, at the moment, they've got away with it. In terms of, I'm not too fussed about the goal. I'm, I would be more worried about, is, that, is the muscle all right at the end of the game? Anyway, the bottom line is, it's difficult now to put up a, a big argument for Ajax because when you see Juventus at home, when you see what they did against Atletico in the last leg, when you look at the experience in the team, then all roads point to Juventus going through. The one thing I would say is there is a, not a cat in hell chance that Ajax are going to Turin to defend. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. They're a hugely exciting side to watch and they're going there to play. They'll, they'll be in the dressing room saying, we did it at the Bernabeu so we can do it in Turin. But this Juventus side is a different animal to Real Madrid, mm. particularly the way they're organised and their defence. Be a tough night for Ajax, but I'm giving them at least... I'm giving them a better chance to go to Turin and get something than I would do by, uh, Man United going to Barcelona, mm. put it that way. What do you think? The Ronaldo decision validated? Well, it's validated now that, let's assume, he came through unscathed. I, I, I'm with everybody else who, who sat on, on, on this desk and said that if it were my decision, I, I wouldn't. And all things being even, Juventus should always get the better of Ajax. But especially when you see Ajax's performance, not just today, but in, in the previous round against Real Madrid, you understand why, why maybe Allegri felt he, he, he had to take that chance. Um, I, again, so now he's, 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 it's worked out well and, and you're quite happy with the decision. But this Ajax team continues to amaze me and, and, and play a type of football that I didn't think they were capable of. I, I thought they were attacking. They, they took the game to, to, to Juventus in a way that not many have and probably will. And then given what happened in the previous round, both at home against Real Madrid and then how they responded and going to the Bernabeu, you, I, I, again, this, this is an Ajax team, I, I think, go, go to, to, to Turin with no fear at all, feeling that they can get something out of this. But Juventus far more experienced, far better at, at defending what, what, what they have than certainly this Real Madrid side. Easier said than done, but if I'm Ajax, I'm, I'm not overly daunted. The interesting thing about Ajax is that, okay, here's a team, a bunch of young players, right? And, and you think, well, yeah, they're, they're creative. Yes, they are attacking, attack-minded. But it's one thing to be attack-minded and then another thing to be able to carry it out on the field against a team like Juventus. Mm -hmm. And the way that they did it, I mean, it was from the first minute that they were creating opportunities. And so you have young players on the left. Neres is, is creating chances. Zayek is creating chances. And Tadic and this guy and the other guy. Van de Beek. And you're thinking, man. If I'm an Ajax fan, I'm not so concerned about whether I'm going to be able to get past Juventus in, in the second leg. I'm more concerned about the fact that we're not going to be able to keep any of these guys. Mm. Yeah. Because everybody else is watching just the same way that we are, and we're like, how come we don't, we're not going after that guy? How come we're not going after that guy? This is a truly talented, exciting team, and they made, at times today, Juventus look very uncomfortable, more uncomfortable than, than I thought they would have been. Uh, in the end, still, though, Juventus takes the, the goal away from home. They take the result, and they'll be comfortable and confident to get, to get the job done at home. When you think about the two second legs, you're going to think about Man United going to Barcelona, probably been dominated, mm. looking at it on the counter, and been pegged back. When you think about this game in the second leg, you're thinking about Juventus have to be absolutely on their toes here because Ajax are going to come and play. 
You mentioned Tadic. He was unbelievable. Well, he was good again tonight, but he was unbelievable in the Bernabeu. And I mean, un unbelievable. He just pulled the strings. You know, Frankie de Jong, Dillette, they've got a bit of experience in there and blend them one or two others. They've got a good mix in this Ajax side. And if you went to switch off for a minute, they they've got goals galore in them. And so they're going to come to your end. They're going to play. It's going to be a great game to watch. I think the other game is going to be a little bit more predictable. But this one, I, I think we are, like, I think Juventus will get the job done because that's what they're all about. And they've got Ronaldo. That's why he's there. But I don't think it's going to be no. plain sailing, put it that way. And at the same time, as much as Ronaldo will grab the headlines, I may be biased here, but I, I think Chesney was probably Juventus's most mm. valuable player on the day. I mean, he's not only shots not counting shots that just scraped the post and were deflected wide, but he, he was producing saves to, to keep Juventus in, in this tie um, it, it, in a way that you, you certainly didn't expect. Does everybody agree that Ajax were better today? Were clearly better than Juventus today? Or no? I, I, I think they played the better football. Oh, yeah. Juventus managed the game well. Mm. So I, I is, it just, is it just going back to Turin solves the problem for Juventus? Well, because I mean, you I, guys I, seem to think no, Juventus... But, is, well, there is a home advantage, for sure. Uh, but they've already proven this year, but I did say it's a different animal in Real Madrid. They've proven they can go to burn the bail and play free-flowing, confident, no-fear football. But Real Madrid this year have stunk at the back, mm. defensively, and in midfield at times. Juventus haven't. For more, sign up now for ESPN+.